Welcome to the Drive and Dish Podcast for January the 19th. Our man Dynamite David is with us to pick some college basketball games. A pretty decent slate for a Tuesday. Let's go over our picks on January the 18th. Our man Dynamite David was living in the right world. He went from a Nice one and three to a two and two, thanks to a half court banker of meaninglessness at the Kansas game. So, St. John's plus eight and a half was a win versus UConn. UNLV minus 11 and a half versus New Mexico was a loss. VMI plus eight and a half versus East TSU was a loss. And Kansas plus eight and a half versus Baylor, a winner with the aforementioned half court banker to end the game. Why it was taken? No one will know, but whatever it was, it brought our man Dynamite David to two and two, leading his overall record to 59, 58, and one. I was 0 and 1 on the day, Louisville minus two and a half. Overall, 101, 85, and one on the year. So our man Dynamite comes off that great uh, Kansas win. How are we going with today? I've got five picks today. Hopefully, I can get back over uh, Mount 500 today. Um, a lot of SEC action today. I think there's a lot of good matchups in the SEC, and I, I like some of this action. I'm going to start off uh, with a rivalry between Mississippi State and Ole Miss. Ole, uh, I like Mississippi State here, minus the two and a half. Uh, Ole Miss is not very good on the road this year. They're one and three on the road, and they've lost three in a row. And uh, another thing is, in this rivalry, the home team's won 14 out of the last 20. And, you know, Tolu Smith just had a really huge game against Florida with 27 points and 14 rebounds. I think Mississippi State's uh, playing much better right now and should get their 10th win of the season against a, a struggling old Miss team. Uh, we're going to leave the SEC for just a little bit here. A uh, big matchup in the Big Ten between two teams that have won three in a row, Ohio State versus Purdue. Um, I went against Ohio State in the last game they played against Illinois. I shouldn't have. Uh, they looked really good against a good Illinois team on the road. And this game's at home for Ohio State. And Purdue uh, really struggles on the road. They're a bit up and down. Um, but I, I, they're a young team, and they really struggle to play on, on the way courts. So I like Ohio State uh, here, minus the four and a half. Um, they're just playing really good basketball right now. Um, next up, I've got Missouri, minus five and a half at home against South Carolina. Uh, Frank Martin's going to miss yet another game due to another positive COVID test. And Missouri's always solid defensively and playing pretty good, and I think they should win this um, minus five and a half. Uh, next up, I've got LSU plus one and a half at home against Alabama. Alabama's, you know, number one in the SEC right now playing really good basketball, but I think they're due to give up one, and I think this offensive LSU team is the team to, to knock them off. Um, LSU's averaging 86 per game, Alabama averaging 80 per game. It's going to be a shootout. Um, I looked at the, the point total. It was set at 164, which is just tremendous for a basketball game. But uh, I'm not going to touch that. That's but I think level territory for our uh, college basketball betters who like under overs. <laughs> Yeah, I I was I was looked at it and I was like, oh, I might take the over on that, and I saw it was pretty high, so I'm I'm going to stay away from that. But I I like LSU getting one and a half at home here. I I think uh, um, they're going to come out shooting well, and and Alabama's due for a loss. Last up, I'm going to go with my Vols minus six and a half tonight at Florida. I think that spread's pretty small for a, a, a number five or six Tennessee team against a really struggling Florida team. Um, Florida is really trying to find their offensive identity, and uh, they haven't scored more than 72, I think, in their last four games. And they're going up against the number two and adjusted defensive efficiency team in the country in Tennessee, and I think Tennessee is just going to shut them down. Um, the Vols are always good on defense. Even in their lost Alabama, they held Alabama to 71 points. So I think um, Tennessee wins this double digits, maybe, maybe by 20, but uh, it's going to be a big win for the Vols tonight. All right, our man Dynamite David with his SEC college basketball picks with a hint of Big Ten mixed in there. Also, he's been trying to give Alabama a loss for a while now after, I think, writing them for the first uh, four weeks of the season every game. So our man Dynamite looking for the Bama loss. All right, I will start out in the Carolinas, a battle of the Carolinas. Probably not the battle you are thinking of, though. Uh, Gardner-Webb. 
minus one and a half versus UNC Asheville. Uh, like Gardner Webb today, uh, just came off a split versus Campbell two weeks ago. Back to back losses to Winthrop, but that's uh, Winthrop's actually a good team. We think they're a little bit better than UNC Asheville. Uh, we like their uh, Kent Palm rating just a tad better than uh, UNC Asheville. So we like Gardner Webb today, minus the one and a half at. Oh, now we're going to move to the South Carolina part of the state, Charleston Southern versus USC Upstate. Quite another battle of the Carolinas going on here. We like Charleston Southern plus the one and a half versus UC Upstate. Uh, Charleston Southern has struggled mightily this year, one at 11 on the year. So if they're going to get a win, it's probably going to be this week versus UC Upstate, who uh, is equally pretty much as bad, three and 11 on the year. So we're, we're looking for a bounce from our Charleston Southern brethren here and to get on the winning margins of their conference and uh, beat UC Upstate plus the one and a half. Now we're gonna go to a big time game. We're gonna go with Seton Hall plus the nine and a half versus Villanova. Uh, Seton Hall has been a bit of a mixed bag uh, pretty much all year long. Uh, they're coming off a win versus uh, DePaul and uh, before that they had won uh, three straight before they lost to Creighton. So you get what you get with Seton Hall. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad, but uh, I, I haven't liked the way Villanova has played of late. Uh, so um, I think uh, Seton Hall can keep up with uh, Villanova and uh, cover that nine and a half. And lastly, uh, I put your children to bed for this game. This is not going to be a pretty one, but it should be one we get a winner out of we like the Campbell Camels, uh, plus the one and a half versus Radford. Um, we think Campbell's a little bit better than Radford, so getting a point, uh, we think Campbell ought to be able to uh, beat Radford today at home. Uh, so an exciting game of matchups and teams in the high 260s to Ken Palm. So uh, real burn burner looking for the Campbell versus Radford game. So uh, we like Campbell. Those are our four picks for the day. Be sure to follow us on greenlightnetwork.org. Follow Dynamite, David. Where can we find you, Dynamite? You can follow me on Twitter at GLN Dynamite underscore D. All right, on GLN Champ 5 on Instagram and Twitter. You can find our show on Greenlight Network on Facebook and Greenlight Network on YouTube. That's our show, and we're out. <laughs> <laughs>